Hey everybody, it's Molly with All Ears and I'm here today at Epcot with a brand new video. I am headed to do a restaurant review at one of Epcot's most popular and expensive restaurants, La Cellier Steakhouse. This is a signature restaurant here in the Canada Pavilion known for their truffle filet mignon, their Borson mashed potatoes, their cheddar cheese soup. But is this expensive meal worth the hefty price tag? We're gonna find out. There's some unusual new items for us to try as well. I hope you're ready, I hope you're excited, hope you're hungry. Le Cellier Steakhouse is again a signature restaurant here in the Canada Pavilion of Epcot. Signature is Disney's word for fancy or expensive. So you're gonna have some more expensive entrees than a normal Disney restaurant would, um, but they're also gonna be with the best ingredients, really revered. And again, this is a very, very popular restaurant, one of the more difficult reservations to book when you're booking those dining reservations. Taking a look at the menu, of course, they are most well known for their cheddar cheese soup, which is absolutely fabulous, a must have in my opinion. They also do a few different poutines, salads, a charcuterie board, and then of course why everyone comes here, steak. Right now they do have a little bit more of a limited menu, but they do have three different steaks. They've got a ribeye, a New York strip, and that signature La Cellier filet. They do have a plant-based option as well as a fish. Great wine list, different cocktails, and enhancements for your meal. I hope you're hungry. Let's get in there. Starting off with a cocktail. This is a newer one on the menu. They just added it a few months ago. It's the La Cellier Bloody Caesar, and it's a very popular drink in Canada. It's got Canadian vodka, Clamato juice, as well as Bloody Mary's uh, tomato juice, Hellfire bitters, and a blend of seasoning. So it's actually gonna have like a seafood flavor to it, which is an interesting choice. Okay, I love Bloody Mary's. I'm okay with seafood, so I think this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Oh, okay, it doesn't really taste like seafood. I was, he was like, this is all like clam juice. Are you gonna be cool? But it just tastes like a Bloody Mary mostly. Yeah, it just tastes like a good Bloody Mary. Definitely got some heat on it. I like that because I like spicy my Bloody Mary. I always add Tabasco. Yeah, we're not mad about that. Canada, you're onto something here. If you like Bloody Marys, why not? Um, it's got a little bit of heat to it. If you're more of a whiskey and steak kind of person, which that is what I would normally pick, they have a fabulous old fashioned here. It's got chocolate and orange bitters in it. It is so, so good. I've had it um, in other videos. That's my recommendation for the drink. Where they have an Ottawa apple cocktail that's got that um, Crown Royal apple a lot of people like, but thought I'd try something different. And that's a good Bloody Mary. So you've got your three different breads here. Each one has a different meaning. You've got your pretzel bread here, one of their signatures, something that they're known for. That is because in Ontario, they host the second largest Oktoberfest outside of Germany. This one is sourdough because in the Yukon, during the winter time, they only have three hours of daylight a day, which would, I don't know how they do it. Um, but to celebrate, they have a huge sourdough festival once spring starts, celebrating the light again. So that's to honor that. And then you've got this multi-grain here because three provinces of Canada actually produce 50% of the grain produced in North America. So all together, you've got this fabulous bread basket. And that's your intro to La Cellier. Okay, next up, I am trying their charcuterie board. And this looks like one of the most interesting charcuteries I've ever had. I'm super excited. Um, all of the meats are made in-house and they gave me a nice little cheat sheet of everything that's in here so I don't have to remember it. And um, although I should have pretended like I remembered all of it and read it out, it would have been really impressive. But um, okay, so this right here is duck ham. It's made with a maple brining and smoked duck breast, and then it's got pickled carrots and onions on there. This one is a mortadella. It's ground ribeye, New York strip, Canadian whiskey, pork fat, pistachios, and it's got a beer mustard sauce on there, right there, that on the side. Here is some short rib pastrami. It's house cured pastrami, and it's got coriander and black peppercorns with pickled mustard seeds. All of these are made in house, which is amazing. Let's check out these cheeses. You have a Point Reyes blue cheese with a honeycomb on top, a um, drunken goat cheese that's got a red wine bath and a red wine rind on there. Um, that one is from Spain. Then you also have a triple cream goat, goat brie topped with, wait for it, a popcorn griddle 
can you believe this? I cannot believe this. And if it couldn't get any wilder, the candle just went out. But this is actually a beef fat candle made in the kitchen. It's flavored with garlic and rosemary. And now that it's melted down, I can actually spread it on the meat and the cheese and the crackers and it'll add flavor to my bites. OMG. Okay, I'm gonna make a little, little treat. I'm gonna do this red wine cheese right here. And then a little of the, I think the duck ham. Get a little of that. And then I'm gonna get into that candle. Look at that. Oh my God, it's all melty. Look at this. He said even the wick is eatable. Spread a little of that on there. All right, let's give this a whirl. That's amazing. Okay, full disclosure, I love a charcuterie board. It's one of my favorite meals. But let's talk about this duck ham first. It is so smoky and delicious. Wow, that is fabulous. The drunken goat cheese is really creamy and it does have a little bit of wine flavor to it. And then the beef fat really just brought it all together and made it taste even smokier and meatier. Oh my goodness. And what I love about a charcuterie board is it's like a create your own adventure tale. So we can go on another adventure together. This adventure is the mortadella in the blue. That is such good blue cheese. Now, I love blue cheese. It's not the strongest one I've ever had, but it definitely has that signature blue, funky flavor. If you don't like blue cheese, skip that one, obviously. But the mortadella has a little bit of crunch from the nuts in there. That's also amazing. This is so good. And pro tip, you know, got your bread basket. Use this to go with your bread basket and make little treats. This little treat is the pastrami, the triple cream brie, and then more of the beef fat. Mm. Ooh, the rosemary from the beef fat really came through that bite. Smooth, delicious, creamy brie. Salty with that peppercorn, the meat. Canada, thank you for this. All right, my main course is here. I have got here the rib eye steak. It's a prime steak. Comes with some fingerling potatoes you can see back here. It looks delicious. I got that cooked medium rare. And then as an enhancement, which you can add to your meal, I got the five cheese macaroni. You can see that it's got that borson in there, a bunch of other cheeses, breadcrumbs on top. Yum, yum, yum. This is why you come to La Cellier. All right, let's try this steak. I asked for a medium rare. It's got a whiskey shallot butter on it. It's so good. Mm. It was cooked so perfectly. There's that nice char on the outside. Mm. The meat is so moist, so juicy. And that whiskey butter on top. Ooh, so good. And now I'm gonna try a little potato. It's also some. Mm. There's lemon in the potatoes. What a nice little touch of brightness to a heavy dish. Yeah, this is a great steak. There's no question about it. And now for the mac and cheese. I've not had their mac and cheese. I've had their horse and mashed potatoes many times. I usually default to that, but we're gonna try something different. Oh my goodness. First of all, props on the noodle usage of these shells. This is so cheesy. You can taste the herb borson in there, which adds a really nice flavor. Super creamy, love the breadcrumbs on top. A lot of mac and cheese in Walt Disney World is very bland. This is not it. This is so flavorful and creamy. It's definitely got some kind of sauce going on, that herb cheese again. Mm. Mm. 
wow, yum. Now the steak has been fabulous and I will never complain about eating the steak at La Celia. But what I will say, if you've never been here before, I'm definitely gonna recommend you get that signature filet mignon. It's got um, that risotto on it, that mushroom, that truffle. It is so, so good. That's what you can get at Food & Wine if you go to the Canada kiosk, get the little sampling of it. Uh, that is my number one recommendation here. So if you've never been, I'm definitely going to tell you to get that. I'm also going to tell you to get that cheddar cheese soup, which is their signature. They also do it at Food & Wine, but that is so, so good. So that's kind of like if you've never been, um, if you want the classic meal, that's what you got to go for. But I've never had anything bad here on the menu. This steak, this mac and cheese included. Um, he did tell me what the five cheeses were. It's got a cheddar, a fontina, an asiago, a goat, and a parmesan. And it is so good. And rounding this out with some dessert. This is the chocolate caramel bar. It's got dark chocolate mousse, shortbread pieces, chocolate caramel pieces, milk chocolate around it. Yum. He said it's like a candy bar. I can't wait. Okay, it's super rich, but because of the caramel, it cuts the super rich chocolate. And then you've got the shortbreads on it that help that as well. Mm. I love that texture, that crispy texture in there. Ooh. That is so creamy. It's like the really good chocolate mousse. Reminds me of the one in the France Pavilion. And then it's got little shortbread crumbles in there, caramel bits. I'm not usually one for super chocolate desserts, but this is one of the best I've had in Disney. Mm. What I will say though, as much as I'm enjoying this chocolate caramel goodness, um, it is really, really rich. You could definitely split it with two people and it's very good if you really want dessert here. But as always, I recommend getting dessert out in Epcot. I would still rather get something from the caramel shop in Germany or the ice cream parlor or the bakery in, um, did I just get chocolate on my face? Lovely. Um, on the ice cream shop or the bakery over in France. Even the maple popcorn that they have on the stand here is a fun, sweet, and salty snack. Um, Kakigori in Japan. There's so many good desserts around Epcot um, that I always recommend eating dessert there. That way you get to try a little bit of everything. So while this is very good, um, I would recommend it if you're a huge chocolate person, you really want dessert while you're in here. Um, otherwise, I would say go out and explore. Try something else. Come here for steak, something with cheese on it, and then go out into the world for dessert. So is La Cellier worth it? I think it all depends. If you are coming for a special occasion, if you are on a date or an anniversary or a big birthday, then yeah, La Cellier may be right up your alley. That truffle signature filet is oh so good and I've truly never had a baked bad steak here. The food is always amazing. The service I've had is very good. We do in the reviews sometimes have some of you say that you've had mediocre service and that it wasn't up to snuff. So I think it could be a little hit or miss, but in my personal experience, I've always had a great time at La Cellier. That bread basket's amazing, that cheese board was amazing, the soup when I get that is amazing. So for me, definitely a great special occasion restaurant. The one problem with La Cellier, in my opinion, is that it is here in Epcot. And when I'm in Epcot, I typically want to walk around and eat and drink a lot of things from a lot of different places, maybe not necessarily stop and spend a whole hour, hour and a half having a meal. But I want to know what you think of La Cellier in the comments. Make sure to leave your reviews on All Ears Net. Also, let us know in the comments where you'd like me to review next what's most helpful for your vacation. In the meantime, friends, make sure to rate, review, subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media at All Ears Net, and until next time, I'm Molly, and it's been magical. Want to see more of my videos? Click over here. Want to subscribe? You can do that right here. And also, ring that notification bell to make sure you get instantly notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for following. See you real soon.